Hello again and thank you very much for stopping by the channel and today it's a warm welcome from Peckham Rye in South East London and I'm currently standing in a unique standalone Victorian warehouse with a fascinating history which I'll go on to shortly but before we kick off the, the walk around I'd just like to say a couple of things. Um, firstly this is a very small channel but I seem to have very gratefully picked up a few subscribers over the last uh, couple of weeks and while it's still only small in numbers um, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who's joined and subscribed and also everyone who's been with me from the start. It really means a lot, so thank you. Um, secondly, this channel is about unique, alternative and quirky homes and it'll always stay like that. But the one thing I'd be really grateful for is the feedback um, on things you'd like to see on the walk around tour and the commentary. Um, would you like it done differently? Would you like more or less footage? Um, I'd love to know if there are things that I could do differently that could make uh, this walk or these walk arounds more, more interesting for you and a bit more, um, bit more fun to watch. So um, that's enough for me. Uh, thanks again. And uh, let's go into start outside and start the tour of this unique standalone building in Peckham Rye. Okay, so uh, we're kicking off outside on the uh, on the main street. So this is Peckham Rye, and uh, I'll add some more exteriors uh, at the beginning of this video when we cut through. But this is the Rye itself. Loads of shopping, some great coffee shops, and uh, a real buzzy social place to to be. And then communal door, and then the alleyway down to the hidden warehouse. So this was built around 1890, this warehouse. There'll be more of a history I'll go into in a, in a second. But it's an amazing building. Beautiful, in fact, I'm gonna, there we go. Um, it's big uh, and it's a complete standalone. So this alleyway doesn't actually go anywhere other than serve the, uh, the back doors for the flat, some of the flats above the shops over, uh, out on Peck and Rye. And uh, basically this is the, this here is the edge of the, the far edge of the building and then that's just a stairway to a flat so yeah completely detached really well maintained and here we go into the front door okay right inside the front door just to the left here we've got a little guest loo and then into the ground floor. Now, the building itself is just over 2,000 square feet in total. It's basically 1,000 um, square foot per floor. Now, this is the former studio and workshop and production of a company called Furphy Simpson, who are now um, a lovely husband and wife couple who ran a textile, very, very successful textiles business. They've been here for 40 years. And this was their the hub. This was their, their, their workshop, the hub of the business. And this building, um, so this floor is a, is a solid concrete base with like a, a resin over the top because they had a very long uh, textiles machine. They needed a building with this length so they could get their textiles machine inside. Um, so you've got just here a utility room. But it's nice if you were I mean let's be honest this is not a family home okay so this is going to appeal to uh, single people couple maybe a young family if you've got one one kid I suppose but realistically it's gonna it's going to appeal to people who want to consolidate their home and work life uh, you've got this this is such a good space it really is it's big it's airy and a very usable artist studio you could I mean all sorts here for photography I guess um, if you're just um, shooting stills but a really lovely creative studio and then through here this was originally their boardroom so there was a big table in here and uh, a slightly more formal space for, for meetings they're just in the middle of clearing out. The, um, the company has now finished, they've retired. So uh, it's the reason this is being sold is because it's no longer required. They, 
spend little time in Peckham now. Um, so there we go. And uh, that stairwell, uh, that spiral staircase, I will update you on as we go upstairs. It'll become more obvious. Okay, so we'll head upstairs. So as I said, this building was um, constructed around 1890, and it was got, it's got an interesting, really interesting history, fascinating. It predates, we believe, predates the, uh, the, the houses and the shops on the, on the Rye. Um, this originally was built as a, a fact, uh, sort of a building that designed and manufactured theatre backdrops. So originally, these loading doors would have been uh, just taking out the... Um, the, 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 all the works through here out onto the, the delivery trucks below and off they went. Um, obviously then the houses and shops were, were built in front so that, that stopped. Then it became a spectacle uh, workshop, a spectacle repair workshop. workshop. Uh, when Ian and Val bought the place um, they, they found boxes and boxes and boxes of old spectacles which they had to keep as part and parcel of the sale. The previ previous owners weren't prepared to uh, to empty it, but uh, there you go. So they took on this, it was a mammoth project and um, they're the ones who have put the life and the love back into it and uh, and to see, you know, with what you're seeing right now. Uh, it's a good kitchen area here. And this, a re this is only a, this is a small thing, but this is a, a Balthorpe um, stand on a really clever design. Basically, it is a stainless steel, go anywhere, portable kitchen almost. So you've got, this, it's all, it all comes just as one unit. So you've got your sink, you've got chopping and drainage everywhere here. You've got this four ring electric hob. And then you've got this drawer here. It's a really neat, a really neat um, addition to the, to the kitchen. They wanted to keep the industrial look as much as they could. So we've got more, we've got the melee oven, dishwasher, a Fisher Pakel, which I've got to be honest, I've never heard of, but um, I'm assured it's a very high-end brand. And then you think. Ceilings are lovely. They've been restored, but they've also had another layer um, added uh, above. So this is really super insulated, this building. And that pull down uh, pull down ladder I can't get access today but I will add some photographs onto this into this video um, but that cool, that pulls down and you've got access to a completely private roof terrace which you could subject to planning of course um, you could build your own uh, build another floor on top we did have uh, had an architect friend of mine who looked at this and actually put together some drawings which um, basically gave another two 250 square feet on top um, very straightforward built off site and then um, craned in and, and bolted down and there's stairwell added. Um, this brickwork I am reliably informed is Dutch bonded brickwork. It's really thick, really thick brickwork. Um, this building's not going anywhere. And it's really lovely. I mean, there's so much character just in the brickwork, this whitewashed brickwork. And also just over here, if you ever were interested, this was the original chimney breast and there was clearly a fire in there at one point. So you could have another little, little uh, open plan bioethanol fuel fire if you wanted look quite nice so there we go that's the uh, that's the living space plantation shutters everywhere and then through into the bedroom there's a, a skylight uh, the owners are out so they've just closed that but there's a skylight there actually nice and bright there's lots of windows which uh, you do the, the job in the open and then into a nice sizable bathroom actually uh, everything's really well or the space is really you know made use of Got the bath shower cubicle sink in the loo and the spiral staircase that I'd referenced below is basically here so you've got access this is the top of it here so this spiral staircase goes down back into the uh, what was originally there their boardroom
There we go. Okay, that concludes today's tour. Um, this unique building, I hope you've enjoyed walking around. Um, it's a great space. Uh, thoughts, what would you do with it? As usual, I'd love to hear anything uh, you've got to say. Um, if you'd like to know more, you can, uh, you can comment below, please. That would be, always be gratefully received. Or you can contact me by the website, uniquepropertycompany.co.uk or email info at uniquepropertycompany.co.uk. And don't forget, there's more properties you can view at this uh, YouTube channel or our Unique Property Company YouTube channel as well. So that's me done for the day. Um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.